Hi everyone, hello and welcome to, what was that? Hi everyone. Um, it's like I was like throwing something quickly, playing cards. Hi everyone. And welcome to a song today. I hope you're well. I hope everyone is all right. So I'll, I'll let you in on something. I'm actually recording this on Friday night. Yes, it's Friday the 6th of August. And I'll tell you for why. It's because today is the birthday of one of my absolute faves. And it's unfortunately the first birthday that she isn't with us anymore. Uh, it's Barbara Windsor's birthday. I know it's also Lucille Ball's, but um, it's Barbara Windsor's birthday today. And I love Barbara Windsor. I just think she's brilliant. I've loved the Carry On films since I was tiny. And by all accounts, my friend Jeffrey says she was absolutely lovely. Um, I should be wearing tons of Shalimar, because that was her favorite perfume, Guillain Shalimar. Uh, but I'm not, I don't have it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I never got to meet her, you know, fellow East Londoner, um, but I was so close, so close. I know, I think I related this in December, but I was in a queue for an hour to get her autobiography signed down Walthamstow Market, and I had to go on a school trip. It was an evening school trip, and I had to go on that, so I had to leave the queue because I didn't get to her before I had to go to the station. And the reason I went along with it was because I'd stupidly, big mouth here, had told my teacher, oh, this Barbara Wins is so, I'll go to a book signing. She said, right, Deborah, if you don't turn up, I know why. And you'll be failed if you don't come to this. So I went, wish I hadn't. I wish I was more rebellious, you know? What the hell, I wish I hadn't gone to the Barbican to see the Merce Cunningham dance troupe. I want to see meet Barbara Windsor. I still got it signed, she still signed it to Debbie, but I wasn't there and I had to go and pick it up. Duh! Regrets, I've had a few. That's one of them. I haven't had many, but that is definitely, I should have got sack off Merce Cunningham. I'm going to see Barbara. Oh well, I got my A level. I didn't fail at least, but still. Anyway, <laughs> rant over. This is a beautiful song um, from a show and a film of the same show uh, called Sparrows Can't Sing. It's a theme song. It was written by Lionel Bart, he who wrote Oliver. They were good friends. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lovely song. And, you know, Barbara was BAFTA nominated for her role in Sparrows Can't Sing. Mm -hmm. And she was Tony nominated when she was on Broadway in Oh What A Lovely War. And also, this might be quite a good vocal exercise, but uh, when I was at school and stuff, I always used to do a good Barbara Windsor laugh. Okay, let's, let's put that. <laughs> oh, <I'm> saucy. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> now let's get sad, because the song is sad. And, uh, and and do this. It's a lovely song, I'm looking forward to doing this. That's a chair being moved above my head. That wasn't like a, a lower rumbling, it was a rumbling from above, please trust me. Honest. <laughs> shame sparrows can't sing think of the joy sparrows might bring but all they can do is fly in the sky and fly and fly and fly 
I hope you liked it. Um, if you've never seen any Barbara Windsor films, check her out. You might have, without realising it, the boyfriend of Twiggy, she's in that. She the, does the French maid song and all that. Um, like Judy, she's also four foot 11, or four foot 10 and a half. Barbara was too. Um, size two shoe. She used to get her Jimmy Choo's made, especially for her by Jimmy Choo, in a, in a titchy titchy size two. Um, which is a European, I don't know, a four is a 37, that's me. So then, 36, 35. Tiny. Um, yeah, but yeah, great. I love Barbara Windsor and happy birthday, Babs. So I hope you like this song. It's a lovely one by Lionel Bart. Uh, my friend Johnny likes Lionel Bart. And um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all again in a few days. Bye. I'm going to try and convince John to watch Carry On film tonight. <laughs> <laughs>